The Killarney Historics Rally will always be a very dear one to me. It's a rally that I've remembered watching since I was a kid. I used to even cycle to the start line if nobody else could go with me. I went almost every single year without fail. And the man who was very pivotal in the setting up of the Killarney Historics Rally, the late Morris Nagel, was a close family friend and someone who definitely inspired and defined my own love for rallying and old school cars and all of that. I used to always love when he'd call up to the house on Sunday and have a quick chat with him about everything going on in terms of motorsport, old school cars and stuff like that. And there's just the charm to the Clowney Historics Rally that you don't really get with a lot of motorsport events in Ireland. It really does feel like you're taking a step back in time and the atmosphere of the crowds, the kind of the love and the excitement of both the drivers and the crowds is just something that I don't think anything else, else in Ireland really kind of is on par with. Good morning, welcome to another RetroGuards vlog. This morning we are at the base of Malls Gap for the Killarney Historics Rally. We decided not to go up Malls Gap. The place was full of camper vans. So we decided to go kind of between like where road closes versus the starting line. Road closes somewhere down there near Mucker's house. And it's been great to see some of the cars and the atmosphere around, even last night for the ceremonial start as well. As always, Rory's joining me for another rally and uh, I reckon we're gonna probably try to head to Park Fermat, catch some of the last cars leaving there before heading over to the Kilgobnet stage. Maybe trying to do one quick recce and then uh, finding a spot. <laughs> Back with the Coupe Quattro and Rory has his three cylinder turbo Fiesta ST. On oh, Donald decided to put retro garage stickers on the Coupe Quattro yesterday. I suppose it's only fair. So we decided to go through Killarney past service and head straight to the Kilgobinet stage. We are at Kilgobinet Village at the moment. So I think there's a square left going into square right. Uh, some of the kind of setup cars are just passing through. Hopefully, now in the next kind of half an hour to 45 minutes we should see the first cars coming through. Rory, a man on a mission trying to find a good spot. Always. Lovely old Merc and a beetle inside there. Well, the shell of a beetle anyway. So we've just got the first kind of track and safety cars coming through at the moment and uh, from then there we should go to the proper rally cars. Stars are gone through, we're just about starting the uh, modified section now of the rally and the speed's going to be insane. <laughs> Jesus Christ, in comparison to the Starks, they are rapid. <laughs> Do you enjoy that, Rory? Oh. Hey, I love rally. 
rallying. Do you love rallying? Say it a bit louder. I love rallying. You love rallying. I, love rallying. I reckon we start ra ranking the cars that pass. Okay. Give them a score out of 10 every time they pass, okay, alright? fine. Seven and a half solid effort. Seven and a half? Yeah. You do better yourself? Yeah. Clearly. From his right fiesta, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Thoughts? Quick and efficient. Nine. What do you reckon the next car is gonna be? It's an escort. We'll put a net bed on it, yeah? It's an escort. It's gonna be an escort, yeah. It's, yeah. it's definitely gonna yeah. be an escort. Yeah. It's an escort. And what about the next car? What's that gonna be? It's gonna be an escort. It's gonna be an escort yeah. again? Yeah. Always an escort. Yeah. YouTube's definitely gonna flag this video for like <laughs> mentioning that escort. word so many times. <laughs> Killarney has the best escorts you're gonna find anywhere in the world. What was that? That was a beamer, but I don't think I got my camera on in time. So what's Killarney full of this weekend? IS 200s, Boras, and the best escorts you'll find anywhere in the world. Nice bit of flames there. This is Shken. Shken, Keith. Lighter up, hey! Lighter up! And touch the wire. Quickly before the car comes. It's not on. More escorts in Amsterdam. I don't think I'll bother going to Drift Games Bash tomorrow. This this corner is brilliant. I reckon we're gonna keep back a little bit more because uh, yeah, the last few cars have got very close to hitting that bank and I don't want to see what happens after they hit the bank. No. Do you? No. Yeah, you're pointing it away from me. I'm here. Hello. Do <laughs> you want to see what happens if they hit the bank? Absolutely not. Well, no. So I think that's us done for the first loop of Kilgobna stage. Probably head back to the car, grab a few bits, charge the cameras, probably head down somewhere down the road um, for stage two. Have you enough with the stage so far? Pretty good, pretty I'm good. enough to stay somewhere around um, here. Like over this crest, there's like a kind of, kind of a left right kind of slalom and a friend of mine is standing down there, so I'm gonna get a word with him when he comes back up to see if it's worth a punt. But given the pace of this stage, I reckon it'll be cool. Right, that's us all done for the stage. Time to head back to the car, get a bit of grub. So we're back now with the Coupe Quattro. Gonna head over to service for a couple of minutes. See if we can find Kyle that we filmed and did testing with a couple of days ago. Um, and then probably head back, to be honest, right where we are right now and go from there. We're just about making our way to service here in Leaper, and then we're gonna head back to the second loop of the Kilgobna stage. Bit of a bad tip there. So let's have a quick look around service. We have Sean Hickey's Starlet here. A lot of the cars already back out. And we have some of the modifieds left. Probably head back to the stage now in a couple of minutes. Big job's going on here. K86 just about to head back out. Bit of a sorry sight here on this Mark 1 Escort. And another Mark 1 Escort, unfortunately out of the race. Well, we'll see if they can get it fixed in service. Serious setup here for Melvin Evans Motorsport for the rally. I'm guessing they yeah, three cars are running. Lovely Nova here being rallied. Here we have a Volvo station wagon being used as a service vehicle. Really cool to see this. Tires on top. Honestly, absolutely love this Volvo being used as a service vehicle. We're getting hungry, so it's time for a little burger here from this food truck. Cheeseburger's been fired, what do you think? Fills the old rally stomach. And here's that really cool Corolla XLI that we were talking to the owner of last night. Turns out he follows Retroguard as well. I think it's a Jap spec one, and uh, definitely something different, quite cool. Perfect timing, last bit of the burger, and we are almost back to the car. To be completely honest, our stop to service ended up servicing us in terms of our hunger a lot more than it did us seeing cars. But we're gonna head back to the Kilgobnet stage. We grabbed a little coffee from uh, the Gold Cup, decided to go for a mocha with marshmallows, seeing as uh, Rory went for a hot chocolate. But, this man uh, doesn't have any cup holders. I don't have cup holders, so you are now my cup holder. Left, wait, do you wanna swap them? Yeah. That makes more sense. So this is Perfect. mine. Just remember, don't drop it. Velour, 
cream seats. Uh huh. Right, we've made our way back to the stage. Hopefully, we get to get out to the spot. Right, trying to quickly make our way down before the first cars. Will we make it? <laughs> I'm panting already. Barely started walking. Right, we've made it to our new spot. So I decided to move it out of there because it felt a little bit sketchy and uh, moved over here. Bit of a better view looking back. Can't really see the bend, but still enjoyable to watch. So yeah, this section of the road that we're on at the moment is a hell of a lot quicker than the one we were on earlier, even though it's only like 300 meters back. And uh, yeah, this is quite enjoyable to watch. Here comes another one. Rory was saying it looks like, almost like gives him Belgium vibes. Big, flat fields, no fences. Flat fields, no fences. Cool to see, especially in a rally for Killarney where everything's full of ditches. It's just as fast. Just as fast. It's funny that when it comes to the historics, that rally, a lot of the cars being rallied would have been cars that like, our grandparents probably would have had, like some Mark II Escorts, Mark I Escorts, Mini Coopers, stuff like that. <laughs> Cars that would have been before, pretty standard cars for just driving around in for the likes of like your grandparents or maybe even great grandparents. But that said, my grandfather would have had a Beetle, so nothing like what you see here. And the Mark II Escort that just passed there is uh, Kyle Tilly, who we went testing with on, I think, Thursday. We went testing with him. Awesome guy, and you're going to be seeing a lot more of him here on Metro Garage as well. But it's great to see he's back out. The last time he was doing the stage earlier, um, he had a bit of a prof shaft issue. So I think they had to do a gearbox swap inside in service. Good to see him back out. I'm currently taking a video of Rory taking a video of a person taking a video. Inception. Here comes a rally car. Well, that was cool, seeing a Volvo out in the stages here. I want to go down towards the end of the field here. But yeah, with most of the grid usually filled with Mark II Escorts. It's cool to see something like a Volvo 240 out in the stages as well. Something different, uh, something to kind of give a bit of variety. There is two Quattros out, one's a Coupe Quattro, I think it's a 10 valve naturally aspirated, and the other one then is a 10 valve turbo or a Quattro, driven by Ivan Warwick, so pretty cool to see those two out as well. There you have the 10 valve Coupe Quattro driven by James Hall, I think Ivan Warwick's uh, 10 valve turbo work watch should be coming through in the next few cars as well so look forward to hearing that as anyone that's been following me a while you know that uh, I absolutely adore five cylinder sounds that was pretty cool rear engine Skoda and the Lotus Partina well it's taking pictures of the grass it's actually a bit mossy to be fair. It's actually very wet. It's very, it's very mossy. It's not really grass to be fair. Mossy Ferguson tractor.
to the car we go again. Uh, I think I'm gonna hit the service. What about you? I think I'm gonna hit the road back. I have a long way to go. You're heading back to Adlone tonight. Adlone. I'm heading to Mandelo in the morning. Yeah, that's it. Learning Historics Rally done, kind of done for another year. Yeah. No Miles Gaff this year, but hopefully next year we'll do Miles Gaff. Yeah, or again. maybe the lakes is coming. I'm not around for the lakes. Oh, you're not around. Oh, that's awful. The lakes. And now the big pilgrimage back to Killarney Town for the finishing ramp. Are you done in Killarney? Are you doing a vlog too? I'm going to just do a fist bump goodbye. Grant, we'll do that. See you there. And uh, as always, Rory, it was a pleasure doing another rally with you. Uh, hopefully, next one is probably Galway Rally. If it doesn't rain. Um, if it doesn't rain, we'll do Galway Rally together again. But uh, safe travels back. I might see you in Drift Games Inc. if you change your plans. Potentially, but I wouldn't count on it. Don't hold <laughs> yeah. your breath. Safe travels back. Yeah. It's time for us to head back to Killarney as well. I'd say we might make one more stop at service, um, pop down and then head to the finishing line as well. Also, if you're enjoying these videos and you do want to support Retro Garage, picking up these Retro Garage stickers is one way you can support. Or else, press plates such as these or any like Jap spec, Jap spec plates or anything else uh, you can find on RetroGarage.ie. I always think it's class that when a rally ends, you get to like drive the stage as it would be in some of these. So here we are going through Chicane. So we didn't make it to the finishing wrap, instead we're here at the trailer park and here we have that Frank Maher Sierra 3 door Cosworth driven by Craig Green today and Paul Nagel. Fogarty and Robert Nolan from Dip the Clutch, Sun and Corolla Coupe. And over here in the corner we have the people we are looking for. We have Kyle Tilly and Martin Brady. Kyle, you have uh, completed your first Killarney Historic Rally. What do you think of it? I loved it. it every second of it was, uh, yeah, it was awesome. It's uh, my favorite rally I've done anywhere in anything. And uh, yeah, just one event. You had a little bit of an issue with a gearbox there if we need to kill Godness. Yeah, stage three. There's a square right with a like Lady of Lords statue. Uh, on the run to that, there was a compression. We were like flat in top. And on the compression, like something broke in the gearbox. So like, when it came back, off, when it unloaded and loaded back up again, it just uh, it went bang and that was that. Uh, so we lifted out the stage and thankfully we had a spare gearbox. Actually, I think we stole one off of Lion, Ryan Lochran, so uh, big thank you to him. Uh, if it wasn't him, apologies, but big thank you to whoever it was. So, uh, yeah, no, all good. Got back out and, uh, yeah, just what a cool event. Three loops of Malzga, two of Kilgobnus, two of Balabima. Yeah. Any personal favourite out of a lot of them? Uh, Malzga, for sure. I really enjoyed Balabima as well, but if you ask me to pick one, it's Malzga. Malzga and three stages. Obviously, it's a hot topic this year it's the first time they ran it for three stages yeah is it too much or no i'll take a fourth I'll take a fourth yeah, i'll take a fourth <laughs> hopefully we'll see you back in a couple of months time for the main rally of the lakes yeah i think so yeah. probably <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, probably with something a little different though not the bar two okay probably bring the r5 out of that but yeah we look forward to seeing that and uh, i'm delighted you had a great time yeah see you soon see you soon thank, thank you, you. I, I cannot wait till the next event. Maybe one day you'll see me competing in one of these. And even to see the likes of, you know, a retro garage vinyl sticker on the back of Kyle Tilly's Mark II Escort and knowing full well that that went up Miles Gaff at full chat. And then seeing it pass me in the stages definitely fulfilled a lot of my childhood dreams while I was stood on those stages. And it's all thanks to you guys. It's all thanks to the support that you guys have shown over the last few weeks, months, and over the last year. Retro Garage has only really been a thing for the last year. And and 2022 was the first full year of like doing Retro Garage. So massive thank you. This is only the start. And if you do want to support Retro Garage, you can pick up those vinyl stickers and other merch from RetroGarage.ie. We're also a authorized dealer for the likes of Rotoform wheels, KW suspension, ST suspension, AP suspension, MTS Technics, so many other brands as well that we're an authorized dealer for. But the biggest way you can support is by sharing our content and subscribing as well, because the more of you guys that watch this content on a regular basis, the more cool projects we can do. And it goes in a full cycle. And I want to get you guys involved as much as possible as well. So thank you so much. And uh, I'm excited to see what comes next.